Hi everyone, and welcome to the web tutorial for one of my favorite online resources for art, artsy.net. Artsy is a free web database of art images um, that really encompasses all aspects of the art world. And I think it's really fun and innovative. I think you'll have a good time exploring um, everything that this site has to offer. Um, it is a really great tool for doing research, whether you're an art history student or studying art in school or just a fan of art and um, like to discover uh, new artworks and check stuff out. I think you'll find it uh, to be a really, a really fun tool to explore and um, a really useful one as well. So here we have the home page of Artsy, and they are showing us a featured collection from the, or, or for, yeah, from the National Museum of Modern Art in Tokyo. Um, these are highlights from their permanent collection. So you can see that um, it's a really globally focused website that is going to keep you up to date on everything that's happening all over the world at um, all of the galleries and museums that the website partners with. And so you can check out shows that are currently happening, collections uh, from your favorite artists. Um, it's a really, really cool um, and useful tool for keeping up to date with everything that's happening. Um, Artsy is funded through commissions on sales of art, actually. Um, they partner with galleries, museums, and private collectors uh, who have works for sale. And if anyone buys a piece through the website, uh, the site gets a commission, and that's how they um, keep the site going. But for the rest of us who can't afford <laughs> to spend a few thousand dollars on a piece of art, um, it's a really great educational tool. And uh, you'll see that um, the thing that really makes Artsy exciting and innovative, I think, is what they call the Art Genome Project. So we'll go here. I, th I think this is one of the most useful features of this website. And the Art Genome Project is their term for the map of characteristics that they refer to as genes. And these characteristics um, are used to classify all of the different artworks on their website and link together pieces by uh, the same artist or artists from a similar movement or uh, different time periods or even subject matter of pieces. So these are some uh, really in-depth uh, descriptive categories of pieces so you can explore things um, in really interesting categories that you can't do with other art databases, uh, even subscription ones like Art Store. Um, so here we have, you know, they have categories of style and movement. If you're really interested in pop art, you can click on the pop art tab and explore all of the pieces they have tagged with pop art or cubism. So we'll click on one of these and see it has some information about the cubist movement, um, artists that were associated with it. So if you don't know much about cubism, uh, this is a great place to explore different artists that have done cubist works and read about what it is. And here, you know, they just show you some pieces by some prominent cubists. Of course, Picasso is probably the most well-known. Um, so if you are really interested in this piece, you can click on it. And uh, the, the, one of the greatest things about Artsy as a free resource especially, um, is the quality of their images. They really provide high quality images that you can zoom in really far on and get a lot of great detail, which if you're an art history student, you know that this is incredibly useful for writing a formal analysis, uh, and examining the textures and the brush strokes of every piece. Uh, so I think you'll find that there their images to be really high quality and really useful. You can save uh, these pieces to, to your private folder uh, to view later or use in a research paper. Um, some of them have 
a tab where you can share on social media pieces that you're interested in. This one obviously looks like it's restricted from sharing on social media, but many of the pieces are. Um, you can follow artists, actually, which is another cue from social media websites. Um, and what this does is just alerts you to uh, new pieces from an artist you're following that they've added to the collection. So this, this page with this um, Pablo Picasso piece will give you a short biography of Picasso. You can go to his artist page and see all of the pieces they have from Picasso in their collection. Or you can just scroll down here and they'll show you with some other pieces from Picasso that they have. Um, you can see other pieces that they have from this gallery that the pieces is or the collection that this piece is held in. Uh, you can also see related works, and this is the, where the Art Genome Project uh, really comes in and I find is really useful. Um, they'll show you pieces that are linked to the piece you're viewing by their their genes or classification system. So here they have the categories fragmented geometry, representation of everyday objects, still lives, oil paintings, figurative paintings. So these pieces have all been tagged with similar characteristics. And as you can see, um, there are a lot of related artists. Paul Cezanne was a big influence on Picasso. Um, Brock was a contemporary of Picasso, and, and they sort of uh, almost created Cubism together. Uh, so you can see that this is a really great tool for exploring. And if you're interested in this Hannah Hawk piece, you can uh, check this out and see um, a biography about her. So you can really see how you can fall down the rabbit hole um, in exploring all kinds of different pieces that are related to each other through uh, stylistic characteristics or movements. Um, and I think it's a really great tool for generating ideas for research, as well as finding images to include in research papers and write about. Um, another interesting, uh, useful aspect of Artsy is that they provide what they call a magazine, which is basically a blog. Um, and they feature all kinds of articles written by um, associates of Artsy or employees or uh, just guest writers. And they are just stories um, about shows or pieces or just uh, the 100 most expensive artists in Artsy editorial. So these are some interesting stories that you can check out and um, even within the magazine is um, this tab artsy for education which is actually under the more tab and this is uh, also a great resource for uh, little uh, educational articles um, about the Mona Lisa or um, about how um, art in 1980s New, New York is related to art from Mesopotamia. So some really interesting stories that they're featuring. Um, this one's obviously about uh, Black Mountain College in North Carolina. So as you can see, it's, a, it's just a really uh, comprehensive tool uh, for everything involving the art world. And, um, there's a lot of exploring that you can do on this website, and I think it's a really good resource to keep in mind um, for schoolwork, using for research. Um, I, again, I think it's great for generating ideas um, for research papers, uh, research topics, and um, it's also great for just keeping up on shows that are happening right now that you might be interested in. So. Uh, if you see that something's happening in your uh, in your city or nearby, you can go check it out and uh, keep up to date with everything that's happening in the art world. Um, I hope that you find this uh, recording, this tutorial helpful, and uh, that you'll have a good time exploring Artsy, checking out everything that it has to offer.